let's set the stage here. It is Merida, Mexico. Ethan Ralph, host of the once internationally renowned Keel Stream, is alone in his house. His animals are dead from neglect. His babies are gone, and he'll never see them again because he hates them. Except for Xander, because Xander's a boy. He'll never see Rosie again, though, because he hates her. And the one thing that your situation leaves you advantageous in is that you make American money through Super Chats, and you live in a country that permits you access to over-the-counter Xanax for pennies a pill, as opposed to dollars a pill, which gives you unfettered, unrestricted access to a medication that makes you feel really, really good in exchange for minor amounts of brain damage per day. Kind of like when you eat zombie flesh in Minecraft. It just slowly chips away at you over time. And you just discovered that um, tip mo super chats are tips and therefore are tax-free. And now, because you are... You have ingested Xanax and feel elated. You will yell about this for the next four hours while completely fucked out of your mind. That's where Ethan Ralph of the Killstream finds himself. So let's look at these clips. Um, this is him arguing with the screen reader. A few. Um, uh... You underscore Jassel sent one dollars on Rumble. Who the fuck are you talking to, bro? That wasn't Colonel Kurtz that was AI reading your Twitter. No. no. <laughs> he fucked up his computer and somehow turned on a screen reader. And then the screen reader began reading Twitter for him. And he didn't know that this voice that's a computer Microsoft Sam voice talking to him, reading what's on his screen, was not a guest on his show having a conversation with him. It was a computer speaking. Uh, he was completely baffled by this until someone gave him money so that another electronic Microsoft Sam voice would inform him that he has been arguing with himself, with his own computer, completely unaware. Um... Here are a couple clips clipped by, by Rage Pig. Um, very apropos name. Uh, I believe that he strips if you are uh, opposed, if you have a weak disposition and you are afraid to see Ethan Ralph's man tits, please look away from your monitor at this time. Yeah. 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 We need more. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We need more. Yes, yes, yes. This is bullfuck shit. This is The Skyrim music really elevates this. <laughs> Can someone explain to me why he supports the New York Meds or Giants or whatever the fuck that symbol is for? He's from Arkansas. He identifies as a trans Tennessean and has lived in Virginia. As far as I'm aware, he's never lived in New York ever. I don't know. And he has no cultural affiliation with New York. Why does he wear that hat? I think this is the titty clip, actually. Oh, yeah, it is. Let's uh, go, nigga. Let's go, nigga. Let's go. That's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. We're working. That's the way you do it. Bro, check out those tube socks. 
Hey there, faggot. That's the way you do it. The little faggot with his tits hanging out. Yeah, buddy, that's his own head. Yeah. The little faggot got his own jet airplane. The fact, the fact that he's doing this to this song at the exact time that he says the little faggot is unbelievable. This has to be, like, dubbed over or something. There's no fucking way he's doing that line. The little faggot, he's a millionaire. We this is my grandfather's absolute favorite song of all time i remember i i have legit heard this song a thousand times because he will loop it like on a long car ride he will listen to the song like like 20 times in a row uh, it's actually a good song <laughs> but i always i always love the it never occurred to me when i was growing up that the, the lyrics about the little faggot with the earrings in uh and the private jet plane uh would be problematic in the future did anyone order the horror's divorce uh, uh, he's li okay, this might be confusing. He's listening to me. He's listening to me make a joke about the horror's divorce. Um, and I think he reacts to it. Uh, 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 uh yeah, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, you never even touch any pussy. Like, it, it's sad, honestly. But, um, where is the. Where is the interview from her? If she if she has so much so much to say, where is the interview from her? Um, it, it, it's not occurred because she's scared. Because she's scared and she shook. And she's fucking goddamn afraid to face me head on with an, an, an interview. Like, I think most there, people there's would. no question that she's scared. And all my tips are tax free, by the way. 100 makes sense, 10 dollars, real successful, poof on the streets. Memphis don't pay taxes or reside at a steady address. Stop for your service, here's a tip for you. Yeah, I don't pay taxes, you're right. <laughs> Did you know? Actually, I want to say. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Huh? Where is she? Huh? Did you know that if you report someone to the IRS and supply your information, the IRS will give you a certain percentage as a finder's fee? Now, obviously, I would never, ever, ever, for any reason, literally never, encourage anyone to report anyone to the IRS because um, that is basically sucking off Satan when you do that. I did a deep dive, and I'll save this for a rant later down the road. But did you know that the IRS is the most well-funded agency in the entire United States? It's the lar the Department of Treasury uh, receives the most funds, and the IRS is like an eight hundred and sixty billion dollar a year funded agency. Did you know that the IRS makes six dollars between five and nine dollars, but six dollars last year per dollar spent? We pay. If you just imagine this, just imagine this. When you pay your federal income tax, one dollar out of every six is going just to fund the IRS for the privilege of being taxed. That's how bad the IRS is. Unfucking real. Just how fucking retarded they are. Um, but yeah, I guess if you're Canadian, if you're Andy Worski, you can report somebody to the IRS, uh, for the finder's fee. There was something else I was going to say about this. I forgot. Oh, he says it doesn't pay taxes. Um, okay. So now this will be the next hour of, of this stream. The Rationals put together a 21 minute long Ethan Ralph clip, which I will give the best sticker to. They've actually downloaded this, so I can just drag it in. We're gonna watch this. I'm gonna watch as much of this as I possibly fucking can. 
This is Ethan Ralph pilled out of his fucking mind. Here we go. They're so stupid. Like, it's actually true. It's in the purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. I remember how recently he was bragging about being completely sober and shit. A doll will sent one dollars on one. Love you, brother. Love you too, brother. This is the job. Wait. This when did when did Ralph start smoking cigarettes like inside of his house? The job. He never seen him smoke before. <laughs> I've literally never seen him smoke inside before. Hey, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, ooh, ooh, ooh. Can any drug experts give me a synopsis on how fucked up he is? Oh my god, that was barely words. Anonymous sent ten dollars purple brains. <laughs> McDonald's is a place to rock. It is a restaurant where they buy food to eat. It is a good place to... Well, this is music, chat. People flock here to get down to the rock music. Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! Rock and roll McDonald's! McDonald's will make you fat. They serve Big Macs. They serve quarter pounders. They will... They serve Big Macs. Yes. Yes, McDonald's does, in fact, serve Big Macs. That's correct, Leslie Willis. <laughs> He's confusing this for, like, insightful political commentary. What pounds are you? I Rock and roll McDonald's. <laughs> Rock and roll McDonald's. I can't. Rock and roll McDonald's. I can't. Rock and roll McDonald's. They, they literally won't let me play. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, where's he at? Here we go. Nothing, but <laughs> he figured it out. Um, <laughs> Come on. I mean, do we want to keep watching the the RNC? If we can... Okay, there's another great stream. Fuck Amanda. Filthy skank Scott a jungle bush like an ape. <laughs> <laughs> With drugs so readily available, my husband fell victim to the drug epidemic. Yeah. Drugs attacked him. Oh no! Oh no! It's a fentanyl! <laughs> the fentanyl! I'm gonna go buy a banana with a counterfeit 20. Ah. Family apart. And, and now I raise my son alone. He loves drugs. But I know there is hope. I don't blame him, to be honest with you. I, uh. <laughs> he seeks smash. And we are forgotten no more. Russian rubber tits. I find peace in God's <laughs> promise. Do that. Says, if, Why was there a Taco Bell ding in the middle of this? My people no, somebody else who did are that. By my name where's the where, where's the pray. where's the Taco Bell <laughs> sound Man. coming from? I didn't do that. And we know the current president is not capable 
of turning things around. <laughs> Why do they have a Taco Bell dong in the RNC? That, dude, that's not me. His weakness is costing us. White House, we will reawaken the exceptionalism of the greatest nation ever known. Dude, I have no idea where that's coming from. Uh, <laughs> this is a black guy. Democrats are the real racist. No, God, no, God, no, don't do this. Building what America needs, creating generational no. wealth for blue collar workers. No! Are you excited for tax cuts yet? What the fuck? <laughs> Create generational wealth for workers. No! Tax them. Anyone who has an estate worth less than one million, a 100% death tax upon them. Um, yeah, I am. It, w it won't play for some reason. Um, <clears throat> are you excited for tax cuts? The RNC? Get up! Well, oh, he's playing his own music. <gasps> no way. Is that in the mix? Is that mix into the song? There's no fucking way. Oh, he broke his webcam. What the fuck? I just love the idea that these old white men on the RNC stage are like pumping out these dance beats. My cat is like, what the fuck? Wait, are they? Is that the real music from the RNC? Goddamn, I wish I did ask some pill. I shouldn't say that out loud, but. So sad, you fucking cunt. Daniel Larson Stan sent $5 on Rumble. Are you excited for tax cuts? Yeah, well, all my tips are... Sent $10, Christ is king. Do you... <laughs> they sent that song again. I love how he's just watching, like, a montage of, like, white people clapping while listening to, like, inappropriate music. I know what... Okay, so I watched a little bit of the stream live. Um, it was, it was super late at night, so I only watched a little bit of it before passing out. Um, and I remember him just saying it over and over and over again. I have an idea of what the majority of this is going to be. You know that, do you know that all super chats are actually tips and they count as tax free? They count as tax free. Everything you give me counts as tax free. God damn it! Did you know that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you, President Trump. This this music just makes me think of like um, the police raid beats from from Payday Two. I'm just imagining that Los Federales are gonna start breaking in any, any second because you got the music going. They're tips. They li they literally are tips, and so um, they're tax free. Okay, he repeats the words tax free perhaps two hours. Like if you were just to cut them out to just the words tax free and play every instance of it, it would probably be two hours of just tax free. So, I make Super Chat money, so I looked into this. I thought, okay, that's interesting. I would like to know, is, he, is there any merit to his claim? First of all, tips are not tax-free. Um, tips, if you make less than $20 in tips while working for any specific employer, you don't have to, re to report it. If, at working one job, you make more than $20 in tips, you have to report it. So, number one, that is not true. You have to pay money on tips. Number two, if you are self-employed and as a business owner, you make tips. All of those tips are to be calculated 
as regular business income. They are not their own thing. They don't count as tips. They count as business income. So the super chat money that you get as a self-employed person is regular income, completely indistinguishable than any other form of income. So he will continue to repeat the words tax-free for two hours. Um, and I, I'm sure you're going to get sick of it. There's one more thing I want to add to this. Ralph lives in Mexico. Um, when you are a foreign resident living overseas, you actually have an expat tax exemption. The United States is one of the only countries in the entire world that will try to tax you if you live outside the United States and you don't make money within the United States. <clears throat> um, obviously for the respective countries, but uh, there is a tax exemption. So even though most countries just don't tax you if you don't benefit from their stupid fucking countries, uh, the United States does if you make more than $120,000. So Ralph, everything that Ralph makes is technically tax-free because he doesn't make more than $120,000. Now, he did, um, but that was back when he lived in the U.S. anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, <clears throat> so it's very interesting. Um, I don't know what the fuck he's thinking. He has brain damage from pills. I don't even know why I'm explaining this, but I just wanted to let you know, just for clarity's sake, uh, to recap, tips are not tax-free. Business owner tips do not count as tips. And if you live overseas, you don't get fucking taxed anyways on the first $120,000, so it doesn't even make any sense. Everything you give me is tax-free! Everything you give me is tax-free! Tax-free! I'm not kidding, by the way. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding, by the way. Like... Super chats are are tips and they are tax free. And so everything you contribute to this show is tax free. So I, 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 I didn't say that. The Supreme Court said that. The Supreme Court did not say that. <clears throat> Damn, Jam and Ralph are syncing up. Is he gonna pull up the titties again? Get those tube socks out, baby. Dance for the money. Dance for the money. Oh, he's pumping iron. Oh, he's so strong. <laughs> look, look at his arm. Look at his arm wobble. <laughs> he can barely lift it. Let's go! Nigger, they can never stop us! I love how this is all just set to the RNC convention. You have like the like the most vanilla, butter looking, butter toast looking ass motherfucker, white bread ass nigga over here, and he's just like screaming to these rave musics about incomprehensible, irre irrelevant fucking nonsense. <laughs> I mean, nigga, I, I, I slept, I slept, I slept. Ay, Dios mio. Dan sent $5 on Rumble. Are you excited for tax cuts? <laughs> yeah, because they're already happening. <laughs> Daniel Larson Stan sent $5 on Rumble. Are you excited for tax cuts? Yes, yes, because they're, they're already happening. Daniel Larson Stan sent $5 on Rumble. Are you excited for tax yes, cuts? Yes! Yes! I'm excited! He's broken his fucking super chat. Isn't Daniel Larson stand someone who super chats to this? Can you, can you explain why you sent $500 to Ralph and $5 tips saying the exact same message, Daniel Larson Stan? I know you're here, you fucker. I did! Daniel Larson Stan sent $5 on Rumble. Are you excited for tax cuts? I'm totally excited because all these are tax free! Daniel Larson Stan sent $5 They're on They're tips! Rumble. Are you excited for tax cuts? They're tips! They're tips! Anonymous sent $10. Christ is king. Christ is king. <laughs> these, are, these are tips! We're never going to escape this fucking song. They're, they're not... like It's not a joke. These are actually tips for my work. And so... They're tax-free? <laughs> Free baby, they're tax free baby. They're tax 
tree. Everything you give to the kill tree right now is tax free. It's tax free. It's already in the law. It's tax free. Cocksucker. I don't even know. You know what? Unless he's talking about tips is tax free, I don't I don't really care. These are tips. These are tips. These are tips. Everything you give me right now is tax free. It's tax free. It's tax free for the Ralpha Mail. Tax free. Free, baby, let's go! These are chips. No, no, people don't understand. At least, I'm not sure they understand. These are actually tax-free contributions that you are giving me. They're tax-free. Please, flood the chat with dancing emojis now. As many as you can. Every dollar you give me is tax-free. They are tips. They're tax-free. Every single dollar you give me is tax-free. Let's see if I can unlimit chat. I don't know if I can accomplish that. Single Instead fucking dog oh, is tax free. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep it going. Our lives are dollars. If this is you, Sabra, you need to go to a hospital. You either are having a stroke or having some type <laughs> of acute injury to your brain. <laughs> These are all tips. These are all tips. <laughs> He's still Let me going. The audience. They're tax free. God damn it, they're tax free! Tax free, baby! I still have music going, that's a good sign. You, you wanna match me? You wanna match me, cocksucker? Yeah, tax free, cocksucker. Okay, L let's match this motherfucker. Okay, tax free. Tax free! <laughs> tax free! Every dollar you give me is tax free. Shop 2024. I, I'm waiting. I can't wait for the IRS like tax court document that says like. Defendant Ralph then proceeded to say live on stream that contributions to his super chat fund were quote tax free. He reiterated this claim approximately 189 times on air misrepresenting the fact that his taxes uh <laughs> that he must pay taxes on his income and it does not constitute a tax free deductible it's tax free <laughs> 190 i don't think it's tax i honestly i don't think it's tax free Dude, all these songs sound like Payday 2 <laughs> soundtrack. It's tax free. It, it's a it's a tip. These are tips that I am collecting. So do you understand that these are tax free? Every single fucking dollar is tax free. I'm dead. I'm dead. By the way. 
I'm dead serious, by the way. I'm not kidding. These are tax free. Ethan Ralph beats his mother and ex-wife and he has friends like Gator who watch Pavlik and doesn't disavow it. I don't give a fuck, give me bitch. Guess what? That's tax free too, cocksucker. That's tax free too. Dude, that guy at the RNC looks really fucking concerned about what he's hearing right now. Is he about to super chat himself live on air? Because you can send fakes with the, uh... That one, power chat, or whatever. Yeah, guess what? That's tax free too. Every fucking dollar you give me is tax free. Yeah. Sorry, Gator. Sorry, Gator. Sorry, Gator. Sorry, Gator. <laughs> One dollar, even one dollar is tax free. One dollar is tax free. Do you understand? Do you understand? Ten dollars, yeah. twenty dollars, thirty dollars, they're all tax free. It's all tax free. Do you understand? It's all tax free. Chad, do you understand this? Wait till my account gets a hold of this. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> my accountant <laughs> my fucking accountant Ralph your accountant's gonna blow your fucking brains out when he sees this shit <laughs> he's like transcending to the dolphin realm yeah so sad yeah I, I set business around and Mexico don't give a fuck Mexico don't go fuck if you bear a bitch in the ground as long as Mexico will absolutely positively 100% deport your ass the very fucking nanosecond the US federal government says deport this dumb nigga as you don't find the bitch so like uh I don't think you know how Mexico works um but maybe you could find out is is as long as they don't find the bitch, they don't they don't really care. Uh, yeah, yeah. No body, no weapon, no nothing. These niggers have no idea how Mexico actually works. Uh, but bitches go missing every day in Mexico. I nothing to do with it, by the way, but I'm... <laughs> I am not a member of any cartel. I never heard of anyone, by the way. Yes! There's a counter. It's counting up, chat. What do you think's happening? Oh, my God. Oh, he's passed out. He's blacked out. We're going at like 16 times or some shit. He's got a bit. He's like, I don't know what you what what the equivalent of blacking out for Xanax is though. He woke up. And, he woke. <laughs> he woke up like that, that meme gif of like a pig smelling um, a cookie from under the blankets and waking up to eat it. He like stirred just enough to start stuffing his fucking face. He doesn't realize he's live. It's been out 12 minutes now. The chair is just empty. He apparently started singing and then didn't sit down. He still hasn't said anything, I guess. He's now randomly listening to a video of, of the pedophile Zoom talking to Randbot? This one's the greatest song of all time, by the way.
<laughs> yeah, he's just like, he's like barely stirring. Look at him. He's like half asleep. What the fuck? He's out of it. He's gone. He's going down. The ship is sinking. Mayday. Mayday. The ship is going down. Forty minutes. He's still kind of like half asleep. It's kind of weird. He's like in a stupor. He's not properly asleep. Why is he so red? Because it's 110 degrees with 100% humidity in Mexico. That's why. And then he's out. <laughs> he's down. That's it. That's the Ralph Pill stream. That's some good content. Ethan Ralph, master of his own destiny, not to be outdone by anybody. Just kind of taking pills, tax-free, tax-free pills, by the way. When you give Ralph a pill, a little pillski, it's uh, it's tax-free. It's a tax-free pill. It's a pill. It's a tax-free pill stream. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.